So here we are in the paint shop, uh, trying to do some after work work on the 172 project. Uh, just about to paint strip the second wing. It's, uh, the first wing is probably not much update since the last video. It's uh, ready to be a few rips put in it. We've done some, done some priming. Uh, I have paint stripped the other side of this wing, but I didn't let the paint strip sit long enough, so we've probably got to do it again. It's been quite as successful as, uh, as I would have hoped. So we'll have a look under there in a moment. So we've got to put a paint stripper on, onto the wing. I mean, covered in plastic, so then it um, doesn't dry out, and we'll wet it overnight, ready to hose and scrape off tomorrow. Exciting stuff. So once the wing's been paint stripped, it'll let us have a better look for corrosion. Um, now I remember back when I was an apprentice and I was sent to find some corrosion on an A320 wing and I pointed out all the bits of rust looking stuff like that. Um, that's not actually what we're worried about. That's just bits of uh, all sorts of inhibitor and stuck to dirt and that sort of thing. Uh, what, uh, what we are looking for, if I have a look at this one under here, I did give a bit of a blend to earlier just to see how bad it was. Uh, that's the sort of thing that we're looking for. So it goes in potentially underneath that rivet, which, uh, so to be sure, we'll end up, so I haven't blended that properly yet, I'll just knock the, uh, knock the flaky stuff off it so that we could have a good look at it. But we'll end up drilling that rivet out, get some sandpaper under there, make sure it doesn't go any further than, uh, than there. And so that's, uh, that's what we're going to be looking at once we get all the paint off, which as you can see, I had a fairly failed attempt at completely paint stripping the uh, top surface of this wing, so I'll redo that after we do the bottom surface. You do find some interesting things in these aeroplanes, and this is 47 years old, but if you have a look in here, and the reason I was looking is because the, uh, the wing skin sort of had a bit of a bit of a pop in it, which I'm not sure if you can see there because it's not in focus, oh there we go, a bit of a pop in there, and um, then when I looked, this stringer has been repaired with only got one one rivet there and one rivet I can't quite reach there uh, repairing that stringer so we'll uh, we'll redo that repair and I've also missed a few rivets so that's why there's a little bit of pop in this skin so, um, that would have been done at some point in its life over the last 47 years but uh, that's why we're giving it a birthday to fix up all those things Uh, so I know someone asked in the last video what paint stripper we're using. Um, one by no means an expert. I haven't used paint stripper since I was a tape 200 years ago. Um, painting has never been my forte or anything to do with it. So I, uh, I am uh, learning an awful lot from Nick, my old boss, um, who, uh, who is now my chief engineer. Uh, so it's this stuff here, aircraft trading remover, SPC 909N. And um, I'm wearing gloves because, as we paraphrase, it says, wear gloves or you can die, which is, which is bad. So, um, pretty potent stuff. And you can see what, it, uh, see what it does to the, to the paintbrush when I've been putting it on. And you can also see what it does to the, to the aircraft coating uh, after even a few minutes. covered um, you can see it's already starting to dry out and uh, what we've got to try and do is keep it wet so it doesn't dry out too much and keeps working but look at what it does to the paint just bubbles it up lifts it off and eventually it does the whole lot so loose that it can basically just be hosed off all done covered up and uh, we'll come back in the morning hopefully all of the old paint will come off with the plastic or fairly soon afterwards. Um, thanks for watching. I haven't had many updates from the 172. It's because the work going on with it. It's been fairly monotonous, boring stuff, blending, sanding, uh, priming, that sort of thing. But uh, hopefully once these wings are, are done and put away, then we get on the fuselage, we'll find some more inter interesting content to look at. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.